Hi Andy here, congratulations on your purchase of pneumatic vacuum cleaner. Welcome to the family and I can guarantee you this, this piece of tool that you own right now is better than 99% of what they are selling out there right now. We're going to split this video into two parts. How do you use them and how do you maintain them so that you can get the most out of this vacuum cleaner. Whether you're using PSP240, PSP370, PPR240 or PPR170 HEPA. The way we use them are very similar as well as the way we take care of maintaining them. How to use them? Right off on the box, you'll see a bunch of information and user guide about the vacuum you need. We recommend you to go through them or keep it for future reference. The next thing is assembly, which is quite straightforward. Unpack the upholstery tools and brush, place them on the docking one at the back of the vacuum. Next, attach the conical hose to the vacuum, assemble the stainless steel tubes, and remember the volume control is always at the upper side. Then connect the floor nozzle and hose to the stainless steel tubes. Moving on, do a quick check. There should be one HEPA flow paper bag and one Tritex filter inside the vacuum. Put them in place, secure the heat and the drum properly, and you are good to go. The floor nozzle comes with two settings. The flat settings is for cupboard and the brush setting is for flat surface like tiles, marbles or timber floor. You can toggle them on the fly using your leg before approaching those surfaces. When it comes to delicate surface, you can switch to upholstery nozzle or brush or any other hard to reach area. You can have various types of setup to help you to accomplish the task. Now you will run into situation where the suction is too high for that surface. What you can do then is release the suction pressure using the volume control on the bending tube. That is also why the volume control should always on the upper side. It is for easy to reach and toggle on and off. And don't worry about the dirt and dust will leak from the volume control. It won't because there's a layer of foam and the suction is just too strong for any dirt to escape from that area. Maintenance. Most likely you will get one piece of microfiber towel from us, but if you don't have that, never mind, any cloth can do the task. It's when you finish vacuuming. Most likely the wire will in contact with the surface that you were working on. Now we want the wire to be clean before we rewind them. Whether the vacuum has a rewind function or not, we highly recommend you to do the wire cleaning before we wind them up. So the next question is when and how do you know it is time to replace the vacuum bag, right? The first way is you can do a physical check by squeezing the bag itself. If you feel that the bag is more than 50% full, change the bag immediately. The second way is when you notice the suction drop, means it is time to change the bag. Because if that happens, means the vacuum motor is working extra hard to get that suction. If we drag this, not only will get the lower suction, and also will make the vacuum motor wear out faster. The third way is you smell unpleasant odor the moment you turn the vacuum on. This means there might be bacteria and germs inside the bag already. The good practice would be if you vacuum every day, change them twice or once a month. But if you vacuum twice a week, change them every two months to avoid contamination in the bag being blown back to your home or environment. When changing the bag is quite straightforward. Make sure you wear a mask, detach the vacuum head, remove the Tritex filter, pull the use bag out, close it using the flap from the bag and discard into the bin immediately. Then use the genuine pneumatic HEPA flow bag, tuck it all the way in. That's it. You do not need to open the bag nicely. For the Tritex filter, we recommend you to shake it outside of your house or facility to shake out excessive dust and dirt. And we recommend you to change the Tritex filter once you see there are way just too much dust on the filter. And do not operate without the Tritex filter. The vacuum will leak and the suction will drop significantly if operate without the Tritex filter. And always, always only use genuine pneumatic HEPA flow bag. This is the key feature of pneumatic vacuum cleaner. And pneumatic is well known for affordable HEPA paper bag by using the generic or not using a bag at all. This will void the warranty and will make the vacuum motor wear out way faster than it should. And the boys have ways to find out. Don't risk it. All pneumatic vacuum come with 2 years or 2000 hours warranty. We highly recommend you to service the vacuum with us after the 2 years to make sure the carbon brush are still in good condition. The cost of replacing the carbon brush is minimum compared to replace the whole motor unit itself. Carbon brush is like a spark plug in your car engine and just like car vacuum is a machinery that requires service so that it can work non-stop for you whenever you need them. 
With that, I hope you get some insight out of this video. I'll put the link down if you want to purchase Genuine Pneumatic HEPA Flow Bag if you haven't already. Use this code to get 8% off because we are like-minded family. Happy cleaning. Take care.